Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today we're talking about the Day 7 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and topics that are brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the Day 7 episode, there's a link somewhere up above or somewhere. Click on it and you know what we're talking about before we talk about it. Wait a moment. Okay, we'll jump right in. Before we get to the discussion, though, I wanted to thank one person who's contributed through Patreon to this channel, and specifically the Alien Invasion series, over the past week or so, and that's Stan Farina. Thank you very much, Stan. Uh, if you're not familiar, the only reason that I can do this, this series, the Alien Invasion series, is through the generous support of people just like Stan on Patreon, who are allowing me to take the extra time that it takes to make this series, and also increase the quality of the overall channel. You've probably noticed you've been watching for a while, the overall quality of the whole channel has gone up, and that's only because I'm freed up to take the extra time because of the generous support of people on Patreon. Right now, we actually are holding kind of a fun drive. Uh, February at the moment is just a one Alien Invasion episode month, just the one that you saw. At the moment, we have to wait till March to, to get to the next one. But uh, if we can get to 75% of the funding goal for doing two episodes, for February, I'm going to call it 100% and we'll release a second episode in a couple of weeks, uh, you know, on the third Friday of, of February. So uh, if you like the series, if you don't want to wait all the way till March to, to see the conclusion of this, just need a couple more contributors on Patreon, links down below. If you want to uh, see the series continued in two weeks instead of four, pop over down there and you can help us to get to that point. So anyway, what was going on in this episode is... Well, there's a lot of things going on in this episode, and I bet one of the things that's really burning you is why did he run away from a stone wall? He had perfect cover, and the dude's running across a field. We're going to get to that in the next episode. We're gonna, the next episode is going to talk more about buffoonery <laughs> and bad decisions that people make under pressure and everything like that. So I don't, I don't want to uh, focus too much on that at all, really, on that. Uh, in this episode, we'll talk about that in either two or four weeks, depending on, like I said, where that Patreon funding is. Uh, what I want to focus on more for this episode is the idea of, are we better off as preppers if we are able to take prepping messages and spread them out to a larger community? There's a bit of a, I don't know, well, yeah, there's a bit of a controversy, I think, in, in the prepping world about whether or not we're better off if we keep prepping sort of private and keep the skills to ourselves and not spread them out to our neighbors uh, versus, you know, the exact opposite, spreading all that stuff, uh, stuff out to people. Um, my feeling is that we're better off the more we can get these messages out to the community, the more you can empower the people around you. The, the converse idea to that is that we're better off not doing that because if you help other people to survive through a crisis, they, you know, once resources eventually do start kind of dwindling, you know, when preps start running low, you've created for yourself a bunch of competitors and potentially adversaries. Uh, that you've empowered to live longer because they didn't die during the initial stages of the crisis. And I think there's logic behind both sides, but I really come down on the other side of it. I think that you are stronger if you can empower people in your community and the people around you to, to help weather these kinds of storms. My character in the, in the uh, program that we're talking about today mentions he goes down to town and he, and he suggests, speculates, that the town wouldn't have gone to Lord of the Flies in like a week if more people in that community had been preppers. That's his hypothesis. It could be right, it could be wrong, it happens to be the one that I have, and it's really kind of the central message of my entire channel. Um, aside from being pretty funny and entertaining. <sighs> the, the mission of my channel really isn't to, to go out to really hardcore preppers and and uh, be sharing skills with them. Well, I, I, I hope that there are hardcore preppers that are, you know, uh, enlightened by certain things that I share on my channel and find them interesting and enjoyable. My, my real goal is to get this information out to people that aren't necessarily going to be into prepping because my feeling is that the more we can all empower the people around us to survive better in a crisis, in some sort of a disaster, the less desperate they're going to be when those disasters and crises inevitably hit. And I think that the most dangerous kind of person you can uh, cross paths with is a desperate person, especially like a desperate parent trying to feed their kids. So it's my feeling, and this is just my feeling, and I could be right and I could be wrong, but it's my feeling that the more we spread this information out to a broader community, the better off it is for us ourselves. What do you think about that? Where do you come down on that controversy? Do you think it's better to have as many of your neighbors just die off in the first week of a crisis so you don't have to worry about them 
you know, like I said, becoming adversaries later? Or do you think that the more you can empower, empower all the people around you, the more you're really also empowering yourself? I'd love to hear your thoughts below, uh, you know, just to talk about that, because I think it's, like I said, a big controversy that goes around, and it's, uh, I think there's examples on both sides of it. To, uh, you know, through historical events that we can look at that, you know, would support one side or the other. So where do you fall on that, uh, that whole spectrum? I'd love to, I'd love to know. So without any more chatting about that, let's cut to a, a clip of what's happening next time on the series. Again, this, uh, the next episode is either going to be coming up uh, in two weeks on the third Friday of February. Uh, if we can get to that uh, level of funding, 75%, again, just need a couple more Patreon supporters. Links below if you want to make that happen. Uh, or, you know, if we don't reach that goal, it'll be coming up in March. And, uh, you know, the first Friday in March, you get to see this episode. So if you don't like cliffhangers and you haven't already, pop down below. Maybe you can help us out. Join us. There's also a lot of... Uh, uh, original content that is just released on the Patreon side, behind the scenes stuff that gets released there way ahead of anywhere else. We also do contests uh, and uh, you'd also have an opportunity when you get into the Patreon side to help steer the the plot of Alien Invasion. We put out a lot of uh, queries out there for people's thoughts uh, to help you know uh, guide episodes where they're going. So if you want to participate more in that way as well, that's another route for you to do it. So no more blabbing about that. Here's the clip. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.